Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Today is an impact day as we could see some scattered strong to severe thunderstorms, especially during the late afternoon during the evening rush and about an hour or so past sunset. Once these storms move on out, drier air will move back in across the valley, and that's going to make for a beautiful Father's Day weekend with that below average humidity and temperatures will be a little bit more comfortable. Enjoy that while it lasts because we're likely going to have an intense heat wave as we go through next week. A series of days where highs will be above 90 degrees, and at times it's going to feel like it's closer to 100 during the afternoons. Outside right now, the clouds are thickening up over the Red Rose City still dry right now across much of Lancaster County. We're at 84 degrees with the light breeze out of the north. Dew points sitting in the low to mid 60s out there. And you can see we are dealing with just light showers pushing across the region along with that thicker cloud cover. That may keep the lid on the threat for stronger thunderstorms later this afternoon. That will be uh, something that we'll have to wait and see. But that light rain coming down across much of York County from York to Red Line just outside of Shrewsbury. We're talking about a 10 to 20 minute shower. Also some pop up showers there along the mid Flynn, Juniata and Snyder County line. So pop up showers the next hour or so, but this is what we really have to watch. This line of thunderstorms that is starting to develop north and to the northeast of Pittsburgh. These storms are out ahead of an incoming cold front that will continue working its way down to the southeast and that pushing of this front is going to help bring these showers and thunderstorms on into the valley as we get closer to dinner time. So partly sunny, scattered thunderstorms, warm and humid highs today up near 90 degrees. And that window of opportunity for those stronger thunderstorms will be between 3 and about 10 o'clock. These thunder showers will taper off as we get closer to midnight. Skies begin to clear and it's going to be seasonably sticky. And then for tomorrow, for the start of the weekend, lots of sunshine, a little bit cooler and not as humid. Highs will be in the low to mid 80s. So overall threat for severe weather is low. What we're watching out for are, are storms that produce some damaging winds, some large hail the size of quarters and some brief heavy downpours that could cause some ponding water on some streets. Now that window of opportunity is roughly from three o'clock to 10 o'clock, but I do expect some showers to linger till about an hour or so just after midnight. Then things will quiet down across the valley. You can see where we've seen some sunshine early this afternoon compared to areas that have seen a bit more cloud cover cooler up towards Lewistown for you folks sitting at 77 degrees 84 right now in Lancaster and 88 at the observation point near Gettysburg and see a little bit cooler off to our north and to the west. And that's where we find that incoming cold front. It's right out ahead of that front where we're seeing the strongest thunderstorms. So you can notice here around three o'clock, our northern counties potentially seeing those stronger thunderstorms, and then that will continue to push down to the south and to the east. By 10 o'clock, the strongest thunderstorm should be south of the Mason Dixon line. Front moves on by, and then high pressure builds back in, making for a beautiful weekend out there across the valley with Temperatures topping off close to average, but that unseasonably dry air building back in is going to make it feel refreshing. A little bit warmer weather will be around on Sunday, but I do expect great weather for Father's Day across the valley. The humidity will start to rise Sunday night into Monday where it starts to feel muggy again, and we're talking intense heat as we head through next week. So a brief break in that high heat and humidity for your Saturday and Sunday, and then we're off to the races. In terms of the temperatures, a prolonged heat wave is expected across the Susquehanna Valley, and midweek looks to be the worst of it, where we'll be pretty close to record highs. And when you factor in that humidity for Wednesday and Thursday afternoon, it could feel like it's near 100. Unfortunately, once we get past today, I don't see much rain in the forecast, just perhaps a few isolated showers during the maximum of that heat or the top of that heat wave. And then as we get closer to the weekend, temperatures do drop a bit, but still quite warm for this time of the year. But at least chances for those showers and thunder showers will increase by next Sunday.